Every year on St Andrew's Day in the third week of November, one of the more singular events in world sport occurs. Dating back to the middle of the 18th century and played on only one ground at Eton College, a few miles west of London, the Eton Wall game is steeped in tradition. The wall itself was erected in 1717 and the first recorded game was in 1766. My theory is that it started because the field that we're standing on was the original football field for Eton. And I think that the boys who were watching that game or who couldn't get in the game played football in the remaining area between the pitch, the soccer field, which we're actually standing on now, and the wall. The two teams are the colleges, chosen from just 70 scholars at the school, and the oppidans, the rest of the school's pupils, who throw their caps over the wall in defiance of their opponents. Many of the games played on the grounds of the great English public schools during the 19th century had a great effect on the development of modern sports, such as association football and rugby union. The Eton Wall game isn't one of them. However, its tradition and its rituals have kept it as popular as ever within the walls of Eton College. The game consists of the two sets of players forming a rugby-style scrummage called a bully. The pitch is 110 metres long, but just 5 metres wide, and the aim is to move the ball to the opposition's end of the playing area. In the last few yards of the field, an area called the Kulks, a player can earn a shy by lifting the ball against the wall with his foot. A shy is worth one point, and there is then the opportunity to score a goal. The goal at one end is a wooden door, and the goal at the other end is a tree. And the attackers are allowed to throw the ball at that target, and if they hit it, it scores a goal, which is 10 points. Um, this is a rare occurrence in this particular match. The last time a goal was scored in this particular fixture was in 1909, uh, nearly 100 years ago. And in this year's St Andrew's Day match, there are no signs of ending the barren run as the game, perhaps predictably, finishes nil-nil.